Hi, in this particular video, we will demonstrate how to use StatCrunch in order to describe one quantitative variable by using amount or magnitude as the criteria by which we describe the variable, as opposed to rank or location, as in the other video that is available through both my YouTube channel and Canvas. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna share with you the earlier screen from the other video. This screen has, in StatCrunch, a step-by-step -step description of Tukey's method to find and identify or nominate quartiles. And then uh, I went over the command sequence using summary statistics under the stat menu to calculate quartiles that measure center, locations, as well as spread, and in the visual of such statistics, otherwise known as the box and whisker plot. So I'm gonna close these windows. Remember that when you X out these output windows, they don't go away. They get hidden into the results menu of StatCrunch, of the StatCrunch menu. And currently I'm going to also take out all of the information that described Tukey's method on the variable age. And now we're gonna describe age by quantity, by amount, by magnitude, by how old, how many years, as opposed to where each individual ranks relative to everybody else in the spectrum of ages from young to old. When we describe a variable quantitatively by amount, what we do is we start with the center value or mean. The mean is the middle value, not the middle place, but the middle value. And the middle value will be the average, the arithmetic average of all the individual values in a column. Aside from the middle value, we then proceed to describe how ages of customers vary from the average age. And in order to calculate the spread around the mean for the age of a customer, the ad, average difference from the average value uh, is we calculate something called the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is our main metric of how much age difference there is on average from the middle value. Standard deviation is the average difference from the average value. So let's start by computing those two because uh, again, we're gonna use a command that you should be familiar with at this point, which is called stat, summary stats, columns. Pick the variable that you wish to describe and then click on mean and then click on the standard deviation. Once you click on those two statistics and you get those two values, now we can say that the average age of a Spotify customer or a Pandora customer is 32 years old, give or take eight and a half years old. So the average person is about 32, give or take eight would look as follows. I'm gonna use a whiteboard and I'm gonna draw a dual arrow axis. I'm gonna call this axis age and age is measured in years, in how many years old a person is. And then I'm gonna put some markers on this axis. The markers are gonna be set apart by the same distance, roughly speaking. And uh, the center marker is gonna be a 32. And then every eight numbers, I'm going to mark one more number. So in this case, uh, 32 minus eight is 24. Twenty four minus eight is sixteen. Sixteen 
minus eight is eight. So notice how each marker is separated from 32 by eight years. I could have made it more accurate and gone eight and a half years. So let me do that now, 23.5 would be eight and a half years younger than 32. Another eight and a half years below that would be 15. And another eight and a half years younger than that would be 6.5. And so every every equidistant value Every one of these markers, which is about the same distance as every other marker, will be eight and a half years apart from the other. Will be one standard deviation from the mean. And what we are about to do now is keep adding eight and a half years. Now we're adding as opposed to subtracting eight and a half years with every passing deviation and uh, notice how every eight and a half years is uh, leads to the following scale and so you can see how the center of the data is at 32 because the mean is 32. And then every time I put a marker above the average age or below the average age, I do so one more or one less standard deviation at a time. Eight and a half years more or eight and a half years less. which leads me to be able to build this ruler, this statistical ruler of the data. And in this case, the statistical ruler, the second scale that I draw will be in blue. And this scale is gonna be called the standard scale and there's a letter we use to denote a standard scale. It's called the z-score scale. And z-scores are statistics that measure location from the mean in standard deviation units. So this particular set of locations which are also meant to be one deviation apart from one another, are essentially located at the mean. The z-score at the center is zero because the mean is zero deviations from the mean. Or you have a z-score of plus one, and that's whenever you see a value that is one standard deviation above the average value. We also can then locate values that are two deviations above the average, as well as three deviations above the average. We can also locate things that are three deviations below average, in which case the z-score is a negative value, two deviations below average, so a z-score of minus two 
is a location for where you would find a 15-year-old client. And one deviation below the average would be the location of a person aged 23 and a half. And so Z scores or standard scores are measured as locations in standard deviations from the mean. The formula for a z-score, which we will uh, compute in StatCrunch in a third video, is found by starting from any number in the data, comparing that number to the mean of the variable in question, whatever that variable name is, and then we take that difference and we divide it by the standard deviation of the variable in question. And so the formula for z-score is something that we will actually arithmetically compute in StatCrunch separately, and that it requires us to essentially take any number, compare it to its average, in this case 32, and divide that by 8.5 which is the standard deviation in this case. And that's how we can translate a value, a value that is in years in this case, and convert that into a standard score or location. Thank you for watching this particular video on how we use mean and standard deviation to actually describe a quantitative variable by amount. One last thing. When you are in StatCrunch, in order to view the, or to display these statistics, we usually graph something called a histogram of the variable in question. And we use the width of the bars to be similar to a standard deviation and we usually start slightly below the youngest person in the data, which in this case was, I believe, a 16-year-old. So we're going to start at 10. Or we're going to start at, let's go back a little bit to the uh, whiteboard. We're going to start at 6.5, because that is three standard deviations below. And this data, this histogram, tells us uh, that our data are spanning from about 15 to 50, more or less. Every eight and a half years is a, uh, a class of client. The average client is actually around here, around the middle, 32, give or take eight and a half years. This particular data set would be referred to as a data set that is slightly skewed to, to the right because there's more variability in data to the right of center than to the left of center. And uh, if the histogram shape doesn't make much sense, then what you might wanna do is change the width from one deviation to two deviations, to half a deviation. So I'm going to do four here. And I'm going to start with uh, 12. I'm sorry, I'm going to start with, with six. And as you can see, by making the width of each bar smaller, you can start seeing that from a 32 year old, there's slightly more variability in age on the high end than on the from 30 to 50, then from 30 to only 15. So because there's more variability to the right of center than to the left of center, slightly more variation in, in age uh, on the horizontal scale. Uh, we would call this a roughly symmetric or a slightly skewed to the right uh, histogram. And another feature that you see is you see a peak here. Not, and these bars are contiguous, they're not separated at all, unlike the bar graphs in chapter two for categorical variables. 
Um, this implies that the shape of the data that we're looking at would be called one peak unimodal, roughly symmetric. So this variable age here would be described in a narrative uh, by a consultant, say to Pandora or to Spotify as, um, the age distribution of Pandora customers is symmetric and roughly symmetric, unimodal, with an average age for customers around 31, 32, give or take eight and a half years of variation around 31, meaning most customers are 20 to 40, and then there are some customers that are younger than 20 and older than 40, uh, but not too many below 10 or above 50. So hence the shape of the data being referred to as roughly symmetric unimodal in shape with average 32, give or take eight and a half. And that's how we would use statistics to describe the age of customers by amount. Thank you for watching this video as well. And I will in the next video, demonstrate how to calculate Z-scores. Thanks.